guys welcome back to my channel this is a super quick video on what colors i used um I, what color of ohuhu markers i used to color this christmas tree and this christmas tree just a recap is a stamp from a doodle bug called a doodle bug collection called night before christmas i got this from three craft chicks and i'm going to put a link down below as well as a coupon code just in case you want to order it so these are the colors that I used um, to color this Christmas tree. I've had many requests <clears throat> um, regarding how to color specific images. So what I'm thinking is we're just going to do like super quick how to color an image kind of thing. So just in case you're interested in that. Um, I'm doing this for in preparation for Christmas in July because all these is going to be part of embellishment week. So I'm going to move you just a little bit on the closer side. Just so you can see. <clears throat> I'm starting with the star. And this is 86. Right there. This is if you want to get a screenshot. These are the colors that I used for the Christmas tree. The darkest is 47. Next is 59. And the lightest is 48. And again this is Ohuhu markers. The bullet nib that I used for it. You're going to notice that when I'm coloring round. Um, I'm coloring like bigger images. I use circular motions. And when it comes to this bullet nib, I am not going to use the chisel tip. I normally don't use the chisel, chisel tip at all. And then I just, if you color it one time, one more time, then it gives a little bit of a shading. <clears throat> the important part here is showing you how to color the transition from the, the shading of the Christmas tree itself. So I start with a 47. And I just color the top part of the tree. And don't worry if it's perfect. That's absolutely fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. So you color the top part. And then we're going to go through it. <clears throat> and um, after 47, you use 59. And then the lightest part is a 48. So that's what, I, that's what we're doing. We're just coloring it, just having fun. If you want, uh, earlier I was playing Christmas music when I was when I was coloring. So that's going to add to um, the spirit of Christmas in July if you wanted to. It's fun to just like color, play with your Christmas stash, and know that you're going to have a head start for your holiday crafting. <clears throat> I hope you can join us. The hashtag for Christmas in July is hashtag PHA 2021 Christmas in July. This is our second year. PHA was established in 2020 during the pandemic. And if you don't know, PHA is short for Paper Hoarders Anonymous. It's a group of crafters that love to craft and hang out with each other and chat and support each other. We do swaps and challenges and everything. <clears throat> so, so that is number 47. Next, next in the shading portion is 59. So that's the medium color for this Christmas tree. And you're going to notice that I'm going to start by coloring where I colored and kind of shading it and kind of blending the colors. And I'm doing circular motions when I do that. So I'm retracing my steps with what I colored with a 47 so that it slowly mixes. <clears throat> Sorry, slow, so that it slowly mixes with... Um, the this medium tone and it takes practice and I don't know I don't think anybody expects anybody to be perfect when they're just starting so don't expect that perfection from yourself also it takes practice I've had this Ohuhu markers I've been using alcohol markers for a good five years now and I can definitely say that I'm still a newbie I just developed some techniques that have worked for me, which has helped me with my crafting. But definitely, I am not an expert at all. I didn't take any classes. It's just practice. And so, i that's why I wanted to share with you some tips and tricks on how I do it. Maybe this is something that you have wanted to do because you have some alcohol markers. It doesn't have to be Ohuhu. It's just my favorite is Ohuhu because of its cost effectiveness. It's easier to start with it. <clears throat> so that's that. As you, you can see already the blending. It was effortless. 
the last part and the last color of this is your 48 and so you're going to do the same exact thing you're going to go through where the medium one traveled just so you can blend it okay so you're i'm just making round circular motions my plan is to make these super short videos short meaning you know i talk so much so probably short for me is about eight minutes or so so create short videos on how to show you how to color these and then move on to the next one with another image so i'm not going to be coloring a boatload of images i'm only coloring just one image to kind of give give you like a sense of how i do it and it's going to be like certain things that we're going to be coloring like this tree i think this tree is super appropriate for christmas in july um <clears throat> i color my images while i watch tv because i think it's i like I like working with my hands while I watch TV. It's hard for me to just stay still and focus on the screen. It's not a thing that I do. The next part, the red one is 10. So I just use circular motions. Don't be afraid if it's not perfect. That's absolutely fine. The pink one, I use the number 8. For yellow, I use 35. And for blue, I use 38. <clears throat> because those um i made this list of all the colors for night before christmas i just look at the collection and kind of see what i feel works well um when i look at the collection and then i just jot it down and then that's what i use i tend to not bring the entire pack with me because 200 is overwhelming when it comes to like alcohol markers so compared to like a 20 something you know, you would rather play with 20-something than 200. So as you can see, we are done. This is it. We have colored this Christmas tree from the Night Before Christmas stamp set. And again, this is from 3 Craft Chicks. If you want to purchase this, I have a coupon code CHRISTIAN10. So you can get a 10% discount. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this craft session. <clears throat> Until next image. I hope you had a good time. Let me know if this is something that you are interested in. If I hope I'm not wasting my time. Um, I hope this is something that you, you are liking. Because I love, love, love coloring stamped images. Anyway, let me know what you think down below. I would appreciate it if you gave me feedback. That would be super awesome. And this is Christian signing off. Have a wonderful crafty day. Bye, guys.